Today we're gonna to be learning about detached tasks in Swift. Before we jump into things, drop a like down below, say hello in the comments for the YouTube algorithm, and let's jump into things. I'm gonna open up Xcode, and we're gonna work in a playground today. I will pick a blank uh, template here, and let's be creative and call this, let's just call it detached tasks, and we'll save it to our desktop, and just full screen our window before diving in. So before getting into detached tasks, we're gonna write out some starter code. And this is important, particularly around uh, the definition of kind of a task and asynchronous code. So I'm gonna create a class here, creatively called thing. And inside of this, we'll have a constructor. I'm gonna have a function here, which I guess we can just do func, doesn't need to be public. And we can uh, call this print async. It'll take in a string, and the string will be of type string function will be async, and inside of here, we are just going to print said string. So this is the starter code that we want, and let's talk about detached tasks. So traditionally, when you create a task, the task inherits from its parent task's priority, and the tasks are grouped together. A detached task enables you to create a new top-level task, and to better illustrate what that actually means, let's take a practical example. So let me create an instance of thing here. And let's say on thing, I wanna go ahead and uh, print something out. So what we'll do here is I'll say in a task, I will say await thing dot, and we're gonna call print, what did I call it? Print async. So we'll say print async, and I will do, thing one and let's do one more down here we'll do thing two and let's give our playground a run by hitting the play button in the console down here we get thing one and thing two pretty straightforward so let's introduce a detached task so let's go ahead and do that and what i'll do is let me abstract these calls into a function called go here which will be async itself and internal to this, it will just go ahead and call this uh, a wait on uh, thing one and thing two, and let's create a detached task. So I'll do it in the middle here. So I'll say task.detached, and we can provide a priority as well as the operation itself. So the priority in this case, I'll say will be background, and it looks like it really doesn't want to go ahead and uh, cooperate with autocompletes. And in here, I'll do await self dot, and we will say print async, and this will be thing two. So my question to everyone is, and I'll make this one here, thing three. My question to everyone is, what is gonna be the print order here? Uh, by looking at the code, if it was to execute synchronously, we should have thing one, thing two, and thing three. And it looks like this is yelling at me here. Let's see why in fact that is. We have an extra trailing closure here. Let's see why that is. This here should be priority, and this is our trailing closure of the operation itself. We should see hopefully that uh, error go away. But let's give this a run in this task by saying await thing.go. And I will clear this out, give it a run. And what we actually get is thing one, three, then two. So it's actually calling this, this, and then this. Not necessarily in that order, but concurrently. We're, we're seeing some parallelism going on over here. The point of this detached task, and what I'm trying to illustrate here is this task is not it does not have any bearing onto the task that these two are tied to, where we have async print for thing one and thing three. In other words, if you wanted to create another top level operation for parallelizing other kinds of work, you can leverage a detached task. Now, a couple good caveats just to be aware of. To clean up a detached task and to cancel it, you'll need to hold a reference of it yourself because it doesn't inherit the priority or the state of your other tasks here. And the other thing that people often think is you should probably use a task group instead of a detached task, but I'll leave you with the school of thought that this is a tool that is available. Clearly, Apple has added this for a purpose, so you can actually use it in your projects, but just be mindful that a detached task does require a bit more 
uh, a bit more nuance and attention given, you know, you don't necessarily inherit any priority. You need to handle a reference of it yourself, hang on to it to cancel it, so on and so forth. So that is a detached task in Swift. I've actually just come across this recently myself. I've been playing with it and I found it to be quite useful in cases when I want to kick off some parallel work and when I don't necessarily want to await uh, for things in a synchronous fashion, right? So for example, let's say I want to start syncing two different things concurrently, but I don't want to create two task groups uh, that rely on ordered task operation. So that is detached task in a nutshell. I always get a kind of tongue tied whenever I say detached tasks. Maybe that's just me. But before clicking away, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're into iOS and new here, something like 70% of y'all don't subscribe. And drop a comment if you have any questions, if you have any video suggestions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.